One of the biggest challenges for electric vehicles is energy storage. We use a lot of energy in an hour, and it might take us 50 years or more to produce that much energy. Therefore, we need to find efficient and scalable storage solutions for this urgent problem. Musk and his team have been working on this issue, and they have come up with some ideas for the types of cathodes that should be used for energy storage. They say that manganese is the main cathode material because it can scale to very high tonnage. Meanwhile, Gaussian High Tech, a US-based company owned by China, is one of the world's leading EV battery manufacturers. They have announced a breakthrough in the form of a lithium iron manganese phosphate battery that is ready for production. They claim that this battery can deliver a driving range of up to 1,000 kilometers from a single charge. The Astro NOL 600 LMFP battery is a new type of battery that can provide cheaper, smaller, and more powerful battery packs for electric vehicles. It is based on the LMFP chemical formula, which is a variation of the LFP formula that is already used by some electric vehicle manufacturers, like BYD and Tesla. The LNFP formula has some drawbacks, such as manganese dissolution at high temperatures, low conductivity, and low compaction density. However, Gaussian High Tech, a US-based company owned by China, has overcome these challenges by using a combination of different technologies, such as co-precipitation, doping, encapsulation, new granulation technology, and new electrolyte additives. The result is a battery that can provide a driving range of up to 1,000 kilometers on a single charge. This is possible because of the high energy density of the Astro Inno battery. According to Chengchen, executive president of the International Business Unit of Gaussian High Tech, the Astro NOL 600 LMFP battery cell has a weight energy density of 240 watt-hours per kilogram a volume energy density of 525 watt-hours per liter, a cycle life of 4,000 times at room temperature, and a cycle life of 1,800 times at high temperatures. This battery can achieve this kind of range without using NCM materials, which are more expensive and less environmentally friendly than LMFP materials. NCM materials are currently used by some batteries that can provide similar range, but they are not as cost-effective or sustainable as the Astro Inno battery. Electric vehicles are becoming more popular in recent years, and many of them use blade batteries that use lithium iron phosphate, LFP technology. However, these batteries have a limit of energy density at 190 watt-hours per kilogram. By adding manganese to the formula, the energy density can be increased to 240 watt-hours per kilogram which is 1.26 times higher than regular LFP batteries. This is a significant improvement or a leap for energy density. The range of 1,000 kilometers or 621 miles that Gaussian claims for its LMFP battery is much higher than what is currently available on the market. For example, Volkswagen's new electric ID7 car will have a range of up to 438 miles which is nearly 1.42 times shorter than the LMFP battery. The LMFP battery's range is also close to the records set by customized electric prototypes, such as the Mercedes Vision concept car, which achieved an efficiency record of 1,202 kilometers or 746 miles on a single charge of battery on a road trip from Stuttgart in Germany to Silverstone in the UK on June 22, 2022. An EV that has the LNFP battery would only need to travel more than 200 kilometers more to break that record, which is considered a milestone in the electric vehicle battery industry. The LNFP battery has a high energy density of 240 watt hours per kilogram, which means it can store more energy in each battery cell and reduce the weight of the battery pack. This will significantly improve the range of any vehicle that uses this type of battery. LFP technology has been gaining more market recognition in recent years, but it has also faced some limitations in terms of energy density growth. To overcome this, LMFP batteries were developed by doping LFP batteries with manganese, which enhances the performance of the chemical system. The LNFP battery also has a longer cycle life than the 4680 battery, 
which is a ternary lithium battery that is currently used by some electric vehicles. The LMFP battery can last for 1,800 cycles at high temperatures, while the 4680 battery can only last for 1,000 cycles depending on the charging method. This means that the LMFP battery can provide a longer range over the lifetime of an electric vehicle. But will Tesla use LMFP batteries? Goshen High Tech has announced a supply and localization deal with a major U.S. auto company, which will receive 200 gigawatt hours of LFP batteries from Goshen between 2023 and 2028. Goshen is one of the top battery manufacturers in China, with a 5.5% market share. However, Goshen has not revealed the name of its U.S. client, only that it is a large and publicly traded U.S. automaker with a high market valuation and a prominent position among the world's automakers. They also said that they have a long-standing and positive cooperative relationship with the company and that it has an excellent credit rating and good performance capabilities. Goshen High Tech has not disclosed the identity of its U.S. client, but many people suspect that it is Tesla. Tesla is the largest U.S. automaker by market valuation, and it has a long-standing and positive cooperative relationship with Goshen. Tesla also faces a challenge in switching all of its standard range vehicles to LFP batteries globally, as it does not have a U.S. manufacturer of LFP battery cells. Therefore, the deal with Goshen could help Tesla secure the supply and localization of LFP batteries in the U.S. The deal involves 200 gigawatt hours of LFP cells between 2023 and 2028, which is a huge amount considering that LFP cells are used for smaller and shorter range vehicles. The deal could support the production of more than half a million electric cars per year. Tesla is the only automaker that would need that many LFP cells in the US based on its production goals. The deal also mentions using the cells in electric cars and other applications, which could mean energy storage products like Tesla's Powerwalls, Powerpacks, and Megapacks. Another important factor is that Tesla has announced that it will test a new battery with LMFP cathodes in the fourth quarter of this year. The battery is named M3, and it will have a 72 kilowatt hour capacity. It will be used for the production of the Model I. However, the batteries in this shipment will come from CATL, another Chinese battery manufacturer. Tesla will test these batteries for three months and then start using them for EV production in 2023. The LNFP material used in these batteries will be supplied from Shenzhen City, which plans to start production of 100 and 10,000 tons of LMFP material in the second quarter of this year. The M3P battery is a new battery with LMFP cathodes that has higher energy density and lower cost than other batteries. CATL, a Chinese battery manufacturer, has been testing the M3P battery and has sent some samples to car makers for testing. Tesla has announced that it will receive the M3P battery in the fourth quarter of this year and use it for the production of the Model Y in 2023. The M3P battery will be mass-produced in early 2024. The main reason why the M3P battery is cheaper than the LFP battery, which is already available today, is because of the addition of manganese. Manganese reduces the amount of lithium needed in the battery pack, and lithium is the most expensive component of the battery pack. Lithium prices have been high in recent years, even though they have come down slightly this year. For example, lithium hydroxide prices average 75,000 US dollars per ton at the end of 2022, while lithium carbonate prices in China dropped to 71,000 US dollars per ton earlier this year. However, these prices are still higher than the prices in previous years. Manganese is more abundant and cheaper than lithium in the world so the LNFP battery will have a lower cost than the LFP battery. The installation cost of the batteries will also be lower because of the smaller and lighter battery pack. The LNFP battery is not only cheaper and more powerful than the LFP battery, but also faster to charge. According to Dr. Chung, the LNFP battery can be charged from 10 to 80% in 18 minutes using the step charging method. This is because the LMFP battery has a higher operating voltage of up to 4.1 volts, 
which is 1.2 times higher than the LFP battery's voltage of 3.4 volts. The LNFP battery also has a good electrochemical performance that enhances its charging efficiency. The LNFP battery also has a better design than other batteries on the market. Goshen Hitech has reduced the weight of the battery pack by 32% and the length of wiring by 75%. The battery pack also has a high volumetric cell-to-pack ratio of 76%, which means it uses less space and materials. The company has also reduced the number of structural parts by 45%, which simplifies the assembly and maintenance of the battery pack. The LNFP battery is also very safe and reliable. It has passed all the safety tests without any fire or malfunction. The battery pack uses thermal insulation materials that can withstand temperatures of up to 1,200 degrees Celsius, which is 20 times higher than LFP batteries. The battery pack also has four layers of rapid heat exhausting channels around the corners of the battery to help cool down the battery faster during operation. The LNFP battery also has a higher thermal decomposition temperature than ternary materials like cobalt, nickel, or aluminum which makes it intrinsically safer. In this video, we have discussed the new LNFP battery that Goshen High Tech has developed and how it can improve the performance and cost of electric vehicles. We would like to know your opinion on this new battery and whether you think it will be a game changer for the EV industry. If you enjoyed the video and learned something new, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel Future Galaxy. Make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post a new video. Thank you for your support and your time. See you in the next one. Until then, have a great day and stay safe.